Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are outside and it's overcast so it's not as hot as the well some of the other days it has been scorching yesterday it was really hot as well I have a project outside and it's not the air intake this time well let's go in uh, down here because um, I have already started on it and you can see it right here behind me there <laughs> it was supposed to become a fish tank something but uh, later years I have discovered that I like to uh, swim in it as well so I wanted to make a little pool for me so um, let's let's see what I've done I made this years ago out of concrete uh, well I've been taking it apart I, um, I had these shelving units which came from a shelf and I've kind of they had screws in the corners here and there are eight corners uh, it has been well the screws are over here I took it apart yesterday because that was on the top of the little swimming thing here kind of see the paint is still sticking to it here so yeah I uh, I've started to putting tiles on this and I uh, I got these really cheap. These are leftovers from somebody else's building project. So I um, I got tiles for this entire thing for 400 Danish kroners. Uh, these big ones. I got six bags. I've used two of them for one ring around, so I can do two rings more uh, around the thing, uh, and that's going to be enough. The bottom one, uh, there's only. What is that? Maybe 40% of the height of a tile and the top one is more than 40% of it. And this one, this row that I put on here, that butted up to the shelving units that I had put on there. I thought that was really smart because that was kind of straight all the way around. So I thought, I'll just put the tiles up to that and that will be marvelous. I ran into some issues though, because those blotchy tiles, they didn't want to stick there. They wanted to slide down. So I came up with this ingenious way of keeping them up there. So I had the tiles glued on with tiling adhesive. I had a board laying on a rock with a counterweight. And that kept the tiles up against the shelving unit. And it um, it sat there long enough to uh, for the glue to to stick so that was marvelous <laughs> so yeah I did that I was kind of proud uh, of figuring that out now it's gonna be a lot easier because the next tile can just sit on top of, of, of those tiles and that's gonna be way easier so that's that's fine and I'm gonna be trying to use some 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 leftovers for some oh, we already saw those these are tiles from my bathroom built and I'm gonna be using some of those I'm, I'm planning on 12 12 centimeters a, a a roll of those around this is a little bit too wide but 12 centimeter thing some long ones and some shorter ones and make it kind of look random and uh, use some of these leftovers which I really hate to have to throw out after spending a lot of money on them so yeah that's just me being cheap I want to use these as well yeah, I'm going to be working on this today. Uh, hopefully I can get a, the artifati roll in place. The idea is that it's going to be tiled on the inside as well. I'm actually going to go a little bit over here and then I'm going to put a new layer of, of concrete on top between the two tiles that are going to be sticking up here because uh, <laughs> it has been sitting too long. So it's, uh, it's kind of not good. It has gotten a little bit too much uh, frost and stuff I'm starting by washing this down I haven't done anything to it since the the forms came off and I'm gonna be uh, well you can kind of see I need to fill in with some uh, tiling adhesive here uh, to have that stick together but I'm gonna start with some water and make sure that see what happens if everything crumbles it doesn't look good <laughs>
here are the the tiles that i'm going to be mounting on top of the the pretty ones that i'm going to be putting on next but i need to uh, use some tiling adhesive to uh, plastering on a layer of tiling adhesive to uh, keep everything uh, and smoothen it out so i'm going to be using that which is just like this bag up here so yeah probably just gonna use the rest of it I see that there's a lot of holes that need to be filled in so the bag is empty water I have this uh, concrete mixer here this machine this was really cheap I bought this way back when I bought the house uh, when well when the house was new to me and I think I paid around $12 for this it has done a really good job so I'm gonna be mixing that Okay, so the tiling adhesive now have a very nice consistency of uh, glue. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna be applying that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using a big spottle. I can almost, well, you can actually do the whole thing. I'll uh, have to look into that. That might not be that stupid. So. Okay, I managed to do those two and I cheated and I continued around the place and I did kind of do all of them. There is a little stuff here and there that needs to be adjusted, but uh, yeah, <sighs> that, that, that did take some effort. This is a good hour and a half later, <laughs> but the bucket is empty. I am out of tiling adhesive. So um, now I'm going to be gluing on some, some tiles and as I said it's going to be these tiles I'm going to be cutting them so that they're 12 centimeters wide and I do underneath this magical bucket here I have a tiling cutter so we're going to use that it's very noisy and it's Sunday morning so I'm going to be very popular with the neighbors but it's church time they should really be there shouldn't they <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're gonna do that and we're gonna figure out if we can make that look good okay so i've been setting up the tiling cutter it has a thing here that i've set to 12 centimeters so now i should just be able to take the tiles find out which side this is a fabricated side so that would be good to have up against the, against that one and then cut that thing off and then I will have a 12 centimeter piece that I can glue on my thing over here and this is almost right so it's gonna 
look something like that and then a dark tile on top of that so yeah I'm gonna be doing a lot of tiles of these sides are about 90 centimeters because that was the the wide of the shelf that I used for the cast or for the concrete pour uh, so I need to figure out something to do with the tile so I'm looking at something decorative decorative like this this is 81 ish centimeters so if I put a, a small tile more in the middle here I would get there Let's try that and see how that looks. Here we are. We'll just adjust the, the spacing between the tiles to have them fittish. Something like that. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. Right. Oh, a new small bucket of tiling adhesive have been produced. So we're gonna get our little tiles ready here. And we have one of these that well, makes them stick better, I guess. There. First run is ready to go on. I'm gonna put it over here where we started. Get rid of this ant. Get out of here. Gotcha. Good and tight. Next one. So our hard work is paying off. I've done that side and that side. You can see that. Um, I, I did three in the middle here and then I divided them out here. Uh, I think that's the two options that I have. I, I could start doing something where the two long ones is in one side and yeah, I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna shift between those two and get rid of as many pieces of leftover stuff as possible. So, yeah, it's going great. Okay, I am missing three pieces or three walls now. So we started here and I'm moving around this way. So, um, yeah, there isn't much space between the tiles here. That's probably okay. And here's another one and another one. And then I came up with something else here just to, to use some more leftovers. And I'm gonna be Continuing on these three next ones. <laughs> I'm missing one, but I am absolutely out of diamonds on this plate. Um, it cuts on one side, the other side doesn't cut at all. This one, it just doesn't want to go anymore. So yeah, I need to replace that plate before I can cut the rest. I have thought about if I could do it with an angle grinder. See, I've been trying to cut here and well, it will just, it will cut not straight and it will uh, stop the blade turning uh, yeah it's, it's no good no more so uh, and it did start raining but it stopped again so i think i'm i'll have to stop because yeah tool problem 
uh, so I have to figure out how big that is I see that it's a diameter of 180 uh, millimeters it's in there it's right there in the middle and yeah oh 2008 I've had this for a while so I think we need to take this off I have disconnected power to it yeah that's sounds promising I've never had these off there's the plate mm. Mm. and it says everything about what it's all about right there that's cool so I need uh, can this do it to get my that off and that off and the blade off and we just need to order a new one how expensive can that be uh, wet coat only hmm might be some of you that are curious of how the little birdies are doing so let's go say hello um, we have that old mama birdie is here too we are disturbing. We'll be leaving again. Okay, found it. And it's not that expensive. Um, this is Ha Nubo. It's kind of a copy of Harbor Freight. So um, if you know that one in the United States, this is kind of the same quality of tools. You get the, uh, everything is at very fair prices. Let's just call it that. So yeah, it's a um, hundred Danish kroners and well, 62 Danish crowns is 10 bucks so this is about 14 bucks probably and they want uh, six box shipping so still way cheaper than buying a new machine so unfortunately this project has been cut short mm, technical difficulties uh, the lack of a redundant solution and no hot spare uh, we did get um, seven out of eight sides done and when I have, I have ordered that cutting blade with the diamond bits, uh, I ran out of diamonds. <laughs> it's kind of fun to have run out of diamonds. Um, besides that, I hurt my back. Uh, I think it has just pinched the nerve back there. So um, yeah, that hurts like um, insert swear word there. I think this is going to look great. And then imagine a black tile on top of those as well. So uh, I think that's going to be good take a walk around it I have uh, I've cleaned it a little bit uh, can be I haven't cleaned that one those uh, but I have cleaned here and as soon as the water dries you can see all the mess again so yeah it doesn't look clean but well the white tiles they look clean the black ones they definitely need another overhaul but yeah it's gonna look great it's gonna be fine and the leftover tiling adhesive I put up here. It's raining now, so I'm gonna end the video here. I have almost packed up all the stuff is underneath this black bucket here. Just have to uh, roll in the power cord. I'm probably gonna continue this doing the week. So maybe next weekend we have a video where we are further ahead. That would be nice. So we can have a peeky. Hello, little buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah, there are three of them. They're not as ugly as last weekend. If you have nothing better to do, go over and join me over at Twitter where I tweet out random stuff. Mostly work related and server stuff. A Friday joke from now and then Twitter. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.